of this video is to illustrate some danger areas that are unique to sidewall machines. We will also review some other areas that present crush, pinch, and burn hazards that tend to be more common on most production machines. In the 1960s, plastic bags were normally produced in a two-step process. First step was to produce the rolls of plastic film, and the second step was to convert the rolls of film into bags. The two-step process created machine downtime as rolls had to be changed when they ran out. That created the need for an inline bag machine that would run continuously as long as the machine producing the film continued to run the film required. These inline bag machines created some new hazards for employees because now they had to deal with the accumulation of scrap film every time the machine was shut down. Working through problems and keeping the machines running required different techniques and new behaviors to stay safe and avoid injuries. At all Barry sites, the main goal is and will always be safety, and no product will ever be worth risking health and well-being of any person. It's critical to seek advice if you are ever unsure of what to do or how to do it safely. The first area of concern is film slitting. We can have a knife mounted on the bag machine, which usually slits the film in the middle. It's very similar to this knife jig. You can see the blade in the bottom. In operation, this is exactly how it should be set up. This brings us to tower slitting. Tower slitting uses very specific knife jigs designed just to fit inside and up against the edge of the bubble. However, they need to be inserted while the bubble is moving, so you will be taught how to do this. Never attempt to do this until you have mastered it with the help of a senior operator. That brings us to the webbing or threading of the rollers. To start one of these machines, you would first start with webbing the film from the extruder through it. You want to make sure that the extruder is running at a fairly slow speed so that you can keep up with the plastic and not have to move too quickly. It's very, very important to use each and every single roller and not to miss one. This first section she's doing is a dancer section, and this matches the speed of the bag machine to the speed of the extruder. She's now getting ready to thread the second section of the machine. She's going through the cap stand rollers right now, which are driven. She's moved the slitting knife out of the way previously to make sure that she's not exposing herself to the slit knife. She'll go up and down to each one of the rollers as required. Again, very critical not to miss one. So it's important to make sure that the machine is not running so fast that you're being hurried. She is coming up to the last roller on the top of the machine. That green roller that she's just going around now is also driven. It is not turning now because the machine is not actually cycling. She still has the punches to go through. She's gathering some slack so that she can place it through the punches. Creating a small tail or a pointy tail with the plastic is the most common way of being able to feed it through different elements of the machine. She's now going to press the jog button to get more film. And then with the a draw roll in the raised position, she'll place the tail in, close that switch, and then cycle the machine from the main control panel, which will slowly start drawing the material into the machine. She'll reach in carefully, grab that plastic, and as the machine catches up to the extruder, she'll pull the material off the side. Normally, it would be an advantage to have a second person doing this. As the machine catches up to the extruder, you can see this dancer section right there indicate that it's caught up to the extruder, and now the ceiling head can be put down into the run position. So in review, there are 10 areas that have the potential for injuries. Slitting both on the tower and on the bag machine, the first dancer section, the cap stand rollers, the second dancer section, the green driven roller, 
punches or any venting equipment, the draw rollers, the ceiling head or ceiling bar, conveyor section including the stacking wheels, and the bundle stacking backstop. As Barry employees, safety is always number one priority. Never do anything you have not been trained to do and are comfortable doing. If you are ever unsure about any task you have been asked to do, get help. With all the safety guards, training, and talks about safety, it all comes down to your decision making. Please make sure all your decisions are based on the safety of yourself and your teammates. Thanks.